from the News Channel 5 Network. This is Urban Outlook. Hello and welcome to Urban Outlook. I'm April Eaton. Thank you so much for being with us today. Well, you see one of these women each day of the week, the award-winning journalist who brings the day's news, the top anchor at News Channel 5. And you've probably seen this other woman too, a multimedia TV host, an actress who may pop up on your screen from time to time throughout Nashville and throughout the country. But both of these women together, Vicki Yates and Tori Yates Orr, are a mother-daughter team who are taking their thoughts and opinions and humor <laughs> to a podcast uh, that's called Wild Wisdom Women. Please yes. welcome Vicki Yates, a very familiar face for thank all of us you. here in the News Channel thank 5 you, family, April. and Tori Yates Orr. Thank you so much for being here thank as well. Thank you for having me. So this podcast, I've been listening <laughs> and laughing uh, and doing some of the things that you tell us to do uh, as women and young women in the world. How did you come up with this idea? I think we just kind of, we normally talk a lot yeah. to each other. I wondered other. about that. Yeah, we do. We just talk and we'll sit in the, the den and just talk about certain things that are going on in life or in the world or in our home or whatever. And we've done that so often that somebody who's been around us says, you know, you guys really have a good chemistry. You need to do something with that. We're like, well, we're mother and daughter. Of course. We have, uh -huh. we but we have certain mothers and daughters. Well, that's true. That is true. Uh -huh. But we do. And, I'm, yeah. and so we kind of talked and we're like, Maybe we'll do a podcast or something. And that's just kind of how it started. Mm -hmm. uh, who came up with the title? Well, we, we struggled with the title did for you? a we long did. time. And we were just like, well, what do we want to accomplish with this? Yeah. And so, like, we, want, we want to reach women. Mm -hmm. I'm wild. She's wise. <laughs> I'm, I'm okay, the there you go. And that's how we came up with the name. <laughs> she <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> It's that terrific. Was it. <laughs> and you talk about how you all converse all the time, obviously, as mother-daughter. Right. But you really do have sort of a color play-by-play -play approach. <laughs> I mean, you all play off of each other really quite well. Oh, thank so you. I wonder, is it rehearsed or is that just sort of natural back and forth? No. Oh, the opposite of rehearsed. <laughs> <laughs> like, we usually sit down like, what do you want to talk about? Yeah. And then that's yeah. what we do. Ah. There's no pl pre-planning. Uh, unless it's something really ma massive, right? Well, yeah. if it's but something that's in the news that we're like, yeah. we have to talk about this, we'll do that. But otherwise, we're just kind of like, we don't talk about today. Yeah, <laughs> we just kind of start yeah. talking. Well, it works because oh, it makes you. it come off so naturally. I think we try. A and then, and then I also think uh, you're putting yourselves out there mm -hmm. in a very special yes. way, uh, <laughs> and both of you all personalities in your own rights, right? Yeah, right. So what's that like? Sharing the deep dark secrets of dating <laughs> and. Well, bad Bad dates, I think you all talked about, bad dates. and I think you probably Many. made some of your brother and son a little oh. ticked off because you probably talked a little too much about them. So, what's it yeah. like putting your life out there for people to get the behind-the-scenes Vicky and the behind-the-scenes Tori? I think it's just it, it makes it easier for us because we can be honest. We yeah. don't have to hold back and say, mm -hmm. "Well, I don't really want to talk about that because I don't want people to know that about me." We're pretty much—I mean, we're not saying everything about ourselves, mm -hmm. but we pretty much are open about what's going on. And you mentioned my sons, and we've had both of them. On. Mm -hmm. And that was that was that was good and that was bad. It was good because my one son, who's just gotten married, that's Max. Uh, that's Max. Uh -huh. Just gotten married. Was talking about women and relationships. Did fine. Well, Alex, my other son, is single, <laughs> came on and immediately went into, "What do you look for in a woman?" Well, I look for uh, good looks. She's got to be good looking, and she's got to be. And we're like, "Whoa, wait a minute! Yeah, that's not well, what we were that's talking kinda about." That's kind of what the men think about. So, and it's funny, but yeah, after that aired, yeah. a lot of men said, "Well, that is what we look for." Yeah. I guess I thought my son would say something noble, like a woman with a fine character, or you know, he's like <laughs> a real man. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no, I wanted to be good looking. He also got threats from my feminist friends. So. Oh my goodness, uh oh. <laughs> they were like, what is wrong with your brother? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> well, you all kind of probably did set him up, like, because you all were talking I, about the fact that you needed to find him a date, right? So maybe he was kind of. <laughs> that's true. That might have been why. Yeah. yeah. He, was, he was picking what he, what he wanted, and that yeah. was. And that's what he wanted. Hot, yeah. and he gets along with them. 
<laughs> well, and that's the good thing I think about podcasts, that you can share your opinions about just about anything that's happening and going on in the world. And exactly. that was his opinion. Exactly. It was. It was. Even though it hurt a little bit to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it didn't hurt. It hurt. I, wasn't, I wasn't as shocked. <laughs> so talk just a little bit, because we feel like we know you, because oh, we God. see you every night that's on great. TV, right? But maybe we don't. So maybe give us a little <laughs> taste of who Vicki Yates is. Wow. And I'm, then I'll turn the tables okay. on you, Tori. I'm a single mom who has three wonderful children. I've been blessed because I have not had a moment's trouble out of any of them. I've never had to go Ooh. to the police station and bail Lucky anybody duck. out. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank goodness. Um, I really enjoy what I do. I enjoy working with people. I enjoy, I've been here for so long that this is like, it's like breathing when I come here. Mm -hmm. It's like coming home when I How come to years? News Channel 5. It'll be 29 in March. Wow. 29 Fantastic. years. Fantastic. So, congrats, and congrats. so my kids basically grew up here. Mm -hmm. They, Tori was three when we moved here, mm -hmm. and the boys were one. So that's what I am. I'm a mom. I'm a coworker. I'm a, a hopefully a friend to some people. Yeah. I'm occasionally a date to some people. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. So that's kind of who I am. Born in Detroit. Born in Detroit, yes, uh -huh. yes, Motor City. Um, <laughs> don't get back as often as I'd like, but and a traveler now. As I get older, now that my kids aren't don't need me yes. as much. I travel a lot more, so that's when you get older and you have kids and they're gone off, save some of your money so you can go to Atlanta when you want to or go to wherever you want to go. Absolutely. <laughs> sure to Rome by yourself last Yes, year. and I Seattle. Did. I heard the and Seattle, Seattle podcast. Which was that was fun. kind of, I love the little photographer bit that you put in there. Yeah. Uh, well, that's a great that's idea. That's really a cool little tool. <laughs> I thought, okay, yes. I might have a kid or two that needs a little extra money. There Maybe you go. Him down there I'm telling some money. you, that was a money maker. <laughs> Not for me, but it was There's for my right. <laughs> And then, Tori, what about you? Um, I always like to say I'm kind of the wild child of the, of the three of us, mm -hmm. which we're not wild. Like, she's no, not, you didn't have any trouble with us. Um, I'm a communicator. Um, I'm someone who's maybe honest to a fault, mm. as <laughs> she shakes her head yes. Mm -hmm. um, but I just, I don't like to mince words, and I like to be truthful, yeah. especially with my friends and family. Um, and I think it's, and it's important for us to kind of show our strengths and our weaknesses. So I'm very vocal about talking about the fact that I suffer from depression mm. and that I've, you know, fought that for years. Mm -hmm. and I think it's something that we as women are told, you know, you gotta be strong all the time. You gotta be the one who makes things happen, especially yeah. as black women. Yeah. And I'm very vocal about taking care of yourself and making sure that you're taking care of you, you and putting, making yourself a priority. So yeah. that's always been a big thing for me. And raised in Nashville, born in Pittsburgh. Um, and I'm a huge Vols fan. Huh. Out there. Well, probably because you have a little special connection. I graduated I was from say. UT Knoxville. Yeah. So, so did both of your brothers. So did both my brothers, so we're all huge Balls fans. Excellent. Yeah. And you majored in Africana, Africana studies. studies. Okay, I Africana wanted to studies. work for the UN was my my goal at the uh -huh. time. So, uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. But that plays well because uh, with you, I think, because you're such a history buff. So yes. some of the topics that you all tackle, you kind of bring perspective to them, I've noticed. Thank you. Um, I, I think she that's does. so important because I've, talked about this for a lot of people, that history, I think people think that history is antiquated or it's old, I don't need to know all that, but history gives context and history, you know, gives the why things happened or how they happened. So that's why I've always enjoyed talking about and it. And if you don't yeah. know your history, you may not know your future. No, absolutely, not at all. So. Yeah. absolutely. One of the things that I found interesting that you all talked about is obviously Vicki as a single mom, mm -hmm. uh, raising three kids, right. uh, your oldest daughter and your twins by yourself, how you were able to manage and do that with this full-time job of television news journalism. And you know, at the drop of the hat, something could oh, yeah. happen and you, and you could work. instantly go to work. That's right, Which exactly leaves right. you trying to maneuver with your kids. Right. How did you pull that off all the years? You know what, years? sometimes I look back and I'm like, how did I do that? Seriously, I, I think, mm -hmm. wow, especially when we traveled, I would travel with them and three kids under three and under, that was difficult mm -hmm. to do. But what you do is you do what you have to. I've had people who, thankfully, I've had good neighbors. I had a neighbor who lived down our street, Karen, mm -hmm. who when something happened, she would say, yeah. bring the kids here, they're good. Uh -huh. And so that would happen sometimes. I would have babysitters who I could call on a moment's notice and say, I've got to go into work. Can you come and take care of the kids? Yeah. And, and they were great about that. So really, you just kind of do what you have to do and you think about it later. You just make sure my kids are fine. Once my kids are fine, then I can go into work. Mm -hmm. I'm 
not mm -hmm. going to work and saying, well, good luck. Uh, see you, kids. I got to go. Mm -hmm. I've got to make sure they're fine. And I just think as a single mom, you have to really be conscious of both things. You have to have a job because you have to provide for Absolutely. your children. But you also have to be a mom and make sure that your kids are okay. And it's a juggling act. You know that. It's yeah. just a juggling act. Yeah. You know, you do the best you can. Yeah, and I also appreciate it sort of your perspective as the daughter of a single mom mm -hmm. and kids as of the single mom, yeah. how you all kind of took it in stride and didn't hold it against her that it was just <laughs> one parent there. I think because we were so young, we don't, for me, I was three when they got divorced, so I don't know anything other than having a single mom. Gotcha. So I think I always thought it would be weird if our dad was in the house. <laughs> like, mm. like, oh, mm -hmm. that, we're not used you to that. find it weird too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she might be weird. That's why we kicked him out of the house. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's too, we were so close. We're just a yeah. really close knit family. Yeah. So we understood when you go to school, you realize that people had two parents in the household. But we understood what our mom was doing. We understood she was fighting for us and working for us. So you, beco you become a four man gang. Yeah. And <laughs> we were just her three little minions. They were like, we're going to do it together. Oh, wow. So, yeah, respect. And they watched out for each other. Exactly. I mean, they fought like cats and dogs, but, but they, we did. <laughs> well, because you got a broken nose out of it, I thought I yeah, heard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You it's were kind of still holding that anger <laughs> I, from way back then. Because <laughs> I saw a picture of me when I was nine, and it was a perfect nose. <laughs> and then Alex ruined it by breaking it. He won't admit that. Look how she's looking at the camera. No. She's still, I'm gonna send this to still steaming. <laughs> Let's, let's take a and quick break. <laughs> when we come back, I want to talk about this whole podcast world because sure. podcasts are just really booming and growing mm, in this are. day and time. And I want to talk a little bit about where you plan on taking your stories uh, from here. We'll be right back after this. Stay with us.